going to show you how to perform a 3D meshing on a ten sized specimen. So here we are seeing some kinds of topology. So we will erase this one first. So first go to this one and decrease the length of this mesh size to it, it is not. So in my case it was already there. Now go to topo. So now we are seeing that every line is yellow in color. So the surface is joined, it means. Now the first step that we are going to do is to create a domain. So we will create a ortho domain that is of the minimum volumes, geometry and minimum volumes. Select the geometry. So here we are seeing that minimum domain is created. So in order to make visible the domains, you have to press this one. So here, now we have to create a split. Just project the point and you will split it. So we have already divided the domains into multiple into multiple subdomains, and that is required. That is required because it will it will create a good mess. So orientation have no problem, right? So you are seeing that it's a different color over here. It will not create a problems over here, but. If you want to create means proper orientation, then you can do this from here. Now you see the proper orientation is obtained. So next step is to align all the edges with all these subdomains so that we will perform that surface missing of for 3D XMS. So just align it. One thing is that you don't need to worry about means selecting the lines or edges in uh, correct patterns. You just select them uh, edges in a random manner and you will be able it will itself arrange in a you know correct patterns, okay? So we have already aligned every lines, but some of the some of them is left. So in this case, we will be aligning these edges according using this command. This one. So 
so you need to be careful over here you have to select above faces too and then after only you have to proceed ahead okay just remember that you not leave this one okay it is okay now right it is aligning in this case we will do that same process repeat that once so now we have already created the subdomain and aligned it properly after this we will create O grid so that we will get a proper mesh in circular patterns in this case create a new O grid select all domain then select these spaces it is necessary that you select these spaces means outer edges outer faces because if you select these outer faces it will not be offset and it will be aligned with the outer faces and that is what required otherwise it will be offset and will be moved downward you can try it on yourself or i will show it so we will select pipe and you don't need to choose anything else so here we will give some offset value if you give more offset value it will show an error called overlapping error like that like this one okay in this case we are not getting this problem but we will get this one That's fortunate that we are not getting any problem over here. But a 2 is the good perfect offset value. And here you, you can see the offset or the O grid is aligned with the faces and it is more like O shape. But if you create a bell shape, it will say change the patterns. Means it will try to create a much more hexahedral or hexahedral patterns, right? So that is why bell shape helps us creating the more high quality grade hexa mesh. So you can tweak the value, this one over here, and bell shape. How much bell shape do you want using these scale patterns? Okay. And fixed intersection means if there is any issue and if you want to fix that one, so automatically it will fix it over here. Otherwise, you have to do it manually. So in our case, there is no any intersection. So we will proceed ahead. So this is over it, which is generated over, which is just generated. We have created that. So if you switch up this one, we are only seeing this one, domains, extra domains, and you are able to see right means this is this space is aligned with the outer surface. So now the next step is to perform map cell mesh over here you need to take care of this one means project this one project over the geometry it will create a perfect shape if you project this one over geometry so if you don't want to project so you can just switch it over here so now our cell mesh is generated 
Now the next step we have to perform, which is the last one, that is pure hexahedral form that we are going to generate over here. Select it and just yeah. We are going to create 1760 hexas and 35 volumes is there total. Just create a name that you like to. But don't forget to double click on this one. Okay, it is created and it is checking the negative problems. It is done now. So if you want to switch off this one volumes, you can do over here. And if you want, if you want to switch off the cell mesh over here, you can do that one too. And geometry. Now the only thing that we are left over here is a 3D XMS. Now you can check it inside. Okay, here we are getting a perfect hexamess. So let's check over here. So it's really good. 